Hey you guys, welcome to the Cell Respiration Lab. Uh, we are going to be working today with some uh, peas that have been germinated and dried peas, so peas that have not been exposed to water. So what I did yesterday was oops, I had uh, quite a few more peas. I don't know if you can see them. They all just fell. Um, put some water on them and I let them sit uh, in the water for a day. Um, and if I were to let them sit in the water, just a little bit of water for another day they'd start to sprout and grow so they are beginning to germinate or they are germinating and so here is a germinated pea and this is a dried pea and so you can see that there's quite kind of a there's quite a difference in size so this one's already starting to grow um, and uh, what we're going to do now is set up our respirometers so what's going to be helpful is to keep this guide with you uh, as we go through the lab so that you can keep track. And if I make any mistakes, you can be right on top of it. So we're going to set up respirometer 1, 2, and 3. And the way that we're going to do that is I've taken 25 germinated peas and I've put them in 50 mils of water. And that has increased the volume to be 62 so that means that there is 62 milliliters. And so that means that there is uh, 12 milliliters of peas uh, here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in respirometer, respirometer 1. And then um, what I have done here is I took 50 mils of water again. But this time, instead of peas, um, I'm putting beads, so we're going to set up our control. Um, and I put the uh, amount of beads that it took, I don't really know what number that is, uh, actually I think it was 38. Um, so I took uh, the number of beads, uh, whatever it took, to have a constant volume. So remember we're keeping this constant, the volume is constant. So we're going to have the same amount of beads um, as we do P, they're the same volume. So I'm going to put that in my respirometer three. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to set up my respirometer uh, two, which is going to be both um, both peas, uh, dried peas, and beads. And so what I have here is I have uh, I put 50 mils of water into this graduated cylinder and I put 25 dried peas but we want to have the volume constant so then I added enough beads to make it 62 uh, mils and I, I don't know how many uh, beads that is but we do have 25 dried peas and remember that the dried peas were smaller so I had to add beads in order to get the uh, the same volume as the larger uh, as the larger respirometer. So I'm going to put that in my second respirometer. And so what I have here is the uh, first respirometer with just the 25 germinated peas. I have my second respirometer with my uh, peas and beads. And I have my third respirometer with just beads. So I'm going to do that for one, two, and three, and that's going to be for the uh, room temperature, or 25 degrees Celsius. And then I'm going to do this setup again, uh, which I have done here is, um, I think this was 14 mils of peas, or 25, um, 25 germinated peas. And because life is not uh, always consistent, in fact, it very rarely is, so it was 14 mils, and so I had a greater number of beads. Um, and you can see those, I don't know if you can see, those beads are here. And I have right here 25 dried peas and an unknown number of beads, but it made uh, the uh, consistent number of, or 14 mils total. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in for 5 and 6. So respirometer 4, respirometer 5, 
and respirometer six. Uh, but before I put those in, what I did is I added a an absorbent cotton ball into the bottom, and then I took potassium hydroxide and I put ten drops on the um, on the cotton ball, and I did that for all six of these. So six cotton balls, and then 10 drops of potassium hydroxide, and did that six times, or, or one cotton ball six times, 10 potassium hydroxides six times. And then I put non-absorbent cotton on the top of it. That's because the potassium hydroxide is going to hurt the pea. It will uh, hurt the tissue, it'll harm the tissue. It's toxic to the peas. So we want to keep it separate, but the potassium hydroxide is very important because it's going to absorb the carbon dioxide from the, um, the respirometer so that um, the, we can measure the amount of oxygen being used and the carbon dioxide is going to be absorbed and it won't interfere. So I'm going to finish setting these up. So I'm going to pour these uh, dishes into the contents of these dishes into these respirometers and then I'm going to set uh, finish setting them up so I'll see you guys in just one second so here we are uh, uh, set, setting sitting by the water bath so what I've done is I have put stoppers into the respirometers or into the vial that have little holes in the top and I have put pipettes pipette tips through the hole and I've tried to make it uniform for all of the um, pipettes so that they're in there all the same length because remember we want everything to be as constant as possible and what I'm going to do is I'm going to here let me set this up and I need to grab some sandbags one second what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these up you can see I have uh, some tape. Oh, it's weird. Computer's backwards. This is um, at 25 degrees, and I'm going to put. So that's my room temperature. I'm going to put one. I want these to be submerged. So one, two, and three. And I'm going to just put a bag of sand on them. Yeah. ones that don't move and two so they don't pop up so that they stay submerged. Um, and you don't want the tips of the pipettes going into the water. So a couple things we need to keep our eyes on is the temperature. We don't want the temper fl temperature fluctuating. So if the temperature starts to decrease, I'll put some warm water in there. And if it starts to increase, I'll put some cold water in there. I'll put some ice. And so down here, I have 10 degree water which is um, here, let me pick this up a little bit which is going to take vials four five and six so I have vials four five and six and I'm going to put a bag over them there we go and now I need to let them sit uh, and for seven minutes. So I will um, see you guys in about seven minutes. Okay, so I have waited seven minutes. I just removed the bag from the respirometers one, two, and three. And what I'm going to do is lift these up a little bit so I can remove the sling. And what I've also done is during the seven minutes, I added a little bit of red dye to the tip of the respirometer just to make it easier to see how far the, uh, the water has traveled down and I'm going to submerge these and I'm going to once again put the bag of sand on there and now I need to let it sit for um, another few minutes but let me do the same to this side sling out let me remove the sling and So now I need to let it sit for uh, another minute. Uh, 
So I will see you guys in one moment. Okay, so I have let the water sit here for uh, three minutes. I had to add a little bit of warm water to the 25 degree bath, and then I had to add a little bit more ice to the 10 degree bath. And now um, our initial readings. So uh, uh, for the first one, it is at 0.91. Our second one for our initial reading is 0.92. And our third one is 0.93. Uh, so notice that, uh, or not notice, understand that our pipettes, maybe I'll grab it. This, uh, this is a sample or a sample pipette. And it is one milliliter in one one hundredths. So here we have 0.9, so we're measuring backwards, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So as our numbers uh, decrease, so we have uh, oxygen, we have water at the end of this, um, at the, at yeah, this end of here, here, and so when the uh, cell respiration occurs, it's going to draw that that oxygen in, and it's going to use that oxygen and produce carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is going to be uh, absorbed by the KOH, um, but so it's going to draw that water in, um, and so our numbers should be decreasing as we get closer and closer to 0.1. So we're starting with 0.9, um, and so here, let me give you your first readings. Your first reading is respirometer one. It is 0.91. It is uh, for respirometer two is 0.92, and for respirometer three it's 0.93. So 0 0.91, 0 0.92, and 0.93. Uh, so let's go to four, five, and six. So here we have respirometer four. It's going to be 0.92. So 0.92. Respirometer uh, five is going to be 0 0.91, 0 0.91, and respirometer 6 is going to be 0 0.95, 0 0.95. Okay, uh, so I'll see you guys in about five minutes. So that was your initial reading. Here we are five minutes later. Um, so respirometer 1 is going to be uh, 0.84, so it's starting to draw down. Respirometer 2 is 0 0.9, 0 0.89. Uh, respirometer 3 is 0 0.91. Okay, and let's go 4, 5, and 6. Respirometer 4 is uh, 0 0.88, 0 0.88. Respirometer 5 is 0 0.90, 0.90. And respirometer six is 0 0.94, 0 0.94. All right, I'll see you guys in five minutes. At minute 10, uh, so 0 0.77 for respirometer one. Uh, respirometer two is 0 0.87. Respirometer three is um, uh, 0 0.9. 0 0.90, I think. Okay, let's go over to 4, 5, and 6. Respirometer 4 is 0 0.85. 0 0.85. Respirometer 5 is 0.87. And respirometer 6 is 0 0.93. I'll see you at minute 15. Here's minute 15. So the first respirometer, 1, is 0.71, the second is 0.86, the third is 0 0.90. Um, let's go over to the next respirometer 4, it's going to be uh, 0.83, respirometer 5 is 0 0.86, 0 0.86, uh, uh, point, uh, so respirometer 6 is going to be 0 0.92, 0 0.92. I will see you at minute 20. Here we are at minute 20. Uh, 
minute 20. So respirometer 1, uh, 0.64. Respirometer 2, 0.85. Respirometer 3, 0 0.90. Respirometer 4, 0.80. Respirometer 5, 0.85. Respirometer 6, 0.92. See you at minute 25. You guys, here we are at minute 25. Uh, so let's go through. Respirometer 1 is at uh, 0 0.58, 0 0.58, respirometer 2, 0 0.84, respirometer 3, 0.90, respirometer 4, 0 0.77, 0 0.77, respirometer 5 is 0 0.84, respirometer 6, 0.92, 0 0.92. I'll see you guys on five minutes at minute 30. All right, you guys, so here we are at our last set of readings uh, at minute 30. So a half an hour has passed. So for half an hour or so, these peas have been going through cell respiration to fuel their growth. Uh, so they need to make ATP to, uh, to fuel their growth. And so, for our first respirometer, 0.51. Respirometer 2, 0.83. Respirometer 3, 0.90. Respirometer 4, 0.74. Respirometer 5, uh, 0.82. Respirometer 6, 0.91. All right. So there's our data. I'm going to clean up and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. So I've started to pick up, um, but what I wanted to do is just to show you, you can take a quick screenshot of this data. Um, so up here, it's the minute, and over here, these are the vials. So, or the respirometers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and these are the distance um, that they've moved um, in volume. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask and have a great day. Um, I will uh, talk to you guys later.